close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to throw a British tea party at home. Just got back from Sainsbury's which is one of the biggest supermarkets in England and I bought the items that I needed to fill up my afternoon tea tray. I'm recording two videos, one of them you are going to see it in April for Mother's Day and the other one you are going to be seeing today and so some of the items you are not going to be seeing in today's video I got fresh strawberries and I've got scones for obviously afternoon tea no British tea would be completed without scones and I got Philadelphia for my cucumber sandwiches smoked salmon slices and for the sandwiches as well I got organic cucumber and I also got clotted cream to go with my scones cherry tomatoes going to go perfectly balancing the reds in my tray with strawberries I will be using some of my mum's silverware Obviously, I need to polish them first. Here are other the items that I will be using. I did not have the perfect sets to throw this party, so I asked my dear friend Mary to lend me her gorgeous, gorgeous tea sets. And she kindly agreed this is the pot this is oh look at the color look at the turquoise look at the pink I fell in love with this one and I asked for this as well for centerpiece and the gold ones are from Primark I will be using it for my jams as well as the clotted cream and these are Mary's pink plates and all different look at that gorgeous I'm pairing these plates with my Poundland gorgeous teacup set and it was two pound each set if you've been with me for a while you probably recognize Mary's name I shared her beautiful home one Christmas and also I shared her beautiful garden as well I'm using my floral napkins that I bought from France as the colors perfectly coordinating with Mary's plates if you stay till the end I will also talk to you about history of afternoon tea while I'm having my tea with you this video is part of a collab hosted by lovely Kiki over at the Kiki DIYs she has 12 of us in this spring tea party closed collab and I cannot wait to watch everybody's thank you so much Kiki for inviting me into your tea party and thank you so much ladies I really enjoyed our Instagram chats my little Primark balls goes perfectly well with the gold trimming of Mary's plates and I'm using strawberry jam in one of them and then clotted cream on the other one ready for my scones commonly three tier tray is used for afternoon tea and you would find sandwiches at the bottom layer and in the middle layer you would find scones as well as clotted cream and jam and on the top layer you would see some little cakes and desserts I'm using little tray and strawberries to garnish for a more pleasant look for the centerpiece I'm using this gorgeous bowl and I separated the fresh flowers 
using cello tape, but unfortunately, it did not work. <laughs> I think it needs to be deeper for it to work. My one was very shallow, so didn't work. Had to come up with a plan B. I found a color coordinating candle holder, filled it up with water, popped my flowers in, as I was very determined to use Mary's gorgeous ball as my centerpiece. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare your sandwiches for British afternoon tea. Whenever I wash a vegetable, I always have to dry. I don't know why. If you are the same, let me know, please. Even fruit, I have to wash it and I have to dry it before I can eat it. I hate that water dripping stage. For a delicate sandwich for delicate ladies, you have to make sure the cucumbers are very thinly sliced and I'm using Philadelphia cheese. You can also use butter or mayo, but I love Philadelphia cheese. So that's what I'm using and I'm using on both of the breads. I love smoked salmon, so that's what I'm using. But if you have vegetarian guests, maybe you should leave this one out. For the afternoon tea, you need to remove the crusts. I don't have anything against crusts, but I'm showing you how to throw the perfect party. And for that perfect party, you don't want the crusts. This is the most common type of shape of the sandwiches for British afternoon tea. Bread was so soft, I was doing my best not to squash them. Don't squash them, especially if you have guests. Bottom layer is done. I made another sandwich to fill up the space. Now let's add the second layer, beautiful scones. If I was having company, I would warm them up in the oven first. I decided to use the cakes for my Mother's Day tray. So you have to come back in April to watch those cakes, yummy, yummy cakes. And for now, I'm just adding pastries as well as strawberries. Let me garnish the bottom tray and the red appears at the bottom as well as on top. Colors are important to me, as you know. This beautiful coaster is from Turkey and for added luxury, I'm using it under my cups. I'm layering my strainer with Mary's little plate and my mum's sauces. Looks lovely and luxurious. I take my afternoon tea with some lemon, so I slice some lemons, but you can also have it with milk as well. I added some fresh baby breath as well and it looks so beautiful, so spring-like. I'm not going to have any milk but this jug of Mary's is beautiful. I dressed for the occasion as well, I don't know if you noticed. And don't go anywhere because we are going to have a chat while I'm eating this gorgeous food. I have done many tablescapes before but none of them involved food as you know so I am really struggling to fit everything in. 
that I had to I'm untrue It's not pretty The truth hurts And you Let's add more spring touches, more color. These gorgeous flower vases are from Home Sense, and I also bought recently these little guys from Primark, and it was two fifty each. And here's the reveal. Don't go anywhere. Wait till the end. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden If I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say That I love you Ooh, ooh, you Ooh, ooh So slow you in my arms won't let go the world around can pass us by a thunderstorm a lightning strike as we hold each other tight you're the rose in a garden and it shows if i Thank you so much for staying till the end. Now let's have a chat. Let me tell you all about the history of British afternoon tea. Afternoon tea was introduced in England by Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, in year 1840. After having light lunch, she had to wait until eight o'clock when the dinner was served and late afternoon she was getting very hungry so she started asking her household for some tea as well as some bread and butter. Later on bread and butter turned into little sandwiches and cakes were added in her tray as well. She liked these refreshments so much she started inviting friends over to share this experience with her. Queen Victoria was amongst her friends. All her friends loved this idea so much and it became a fashionable social event. During the 1880s, upper class and society women would change into long gowns, gloves, hats for their afternoon tea, which usually served in the drawing room between 4 and 5 o'clock. Traditional afternoon tea consists of selection of small sandwiches, including, of course, thinly sliced cucumber sandwiches, scones served with clotted cream and jams. Cakes and pastries are also served on the top layer. Tea gowns in India or Ceylon is poured from silver teapots into delicate bone china cups. To experience the best afternoon tea tradition, indulge yourself with a trip to one of London's finest hotels such as Ritz. Or alternatively, create your own Ritz experience at home, just like I showed you. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational to create your own British afternoon tea. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for more inspirational videos. Don't forget to share this video with somebody in your life you think might enjoy my content. I'm done but you're not done yet, please go to my description box, click on the playlist and watch everybody's spring tea parties. I am really looking forward to watching everybody's as well. You really don't want to miss tomorrow's video, I had some guests over for lunch and I recorded a get ready video. You can see how a Turkish person hosts for their guests and I'm sure you are going to enjoy my cleaning, my cooking and my getting ready video. So that's gonna be tomorrow. I will see you then. Till then. Bye bye.